Welcome to another episode of the Kinseed series, and I can't tell if maybe we lost the previous day, so let's go through and see. Come on, wake up. Big day today. All veil cheer. Summertide is here. Blessings be on you this great day. Every ten years we gather on the green and make offerings to our beloved Druida. Come, it is time to keep our appointment with the wood fellow. Okay, so... We were actually able to get up. I think I think this is where we're supposed to be. Alright. Welcome, good folk of the Vale. Summertide is here. Huzzah! This glorious day is when Druda, goddess of the Vale, stands above all others and opens her arms to our humble offerings. The day we celebrate the end of the season of the sun and ask for blessings so that we can taste the fruitful harvests. Hail the queen of the orchard. As Druida watches over us, her love will bring growth. It will stave off hunger. It will protect us from disease and from the cold winters to come. Now, let us speak the summertide prayer. O oh, goddess of the orchards, the tide of summer fades. Bestow your fruits on we who offer our thanks. We of veil, we of quill, we who bow to Druida's will. The seeds of summertide step forth and prepare for the choosing. I wonder how he knows- I guess Druida may speak to him to know who's involved. As you know, only one may present our tributes to Druida. Only one may be chosen for the greatest honor in the Vale. Now is our custom, let the gaze of Druida fall upon the Arbiter. That is a problem. Druida has chosen one of the twins. O oh, glorious day, tell us, child, which one shall be our summertide herald? Uh, we'll go with Ginger. He has a job, and she was just- one of the last times we talked to her, she was talking about wanting to go up into the heavens. So, I think we'll go with her. Hooray! Very well. Step into the wood feather herald. We leave- you leave this life a blessed soul, ready to take our offerings into Opal, where you will feel Druida's embrace. Oh. Ooh. Fancy. Bathe in a purifying light. Oh, glory to the goddess. Oh. Very pretty flowers. This has changed quite a bit since uh, the first time we witnessed it. And she's gone. And they made you choose. I don't believe it. I thought things were going to be alright here, but everything he said was true. Well, at least I didn't catch fire like the first time. <laughs> hey, uncle. Your sibling did not take that very well, but you did beautifully. They will get over it and realize it was the natural order of things. It is the way of our world. Do not worry about them. Probably just gone somewhere to reflect. Okay. Let's get some chores done. And while I do that, at the... Towards the end of this episode, I'm going to actually be going over some um, teaser information about the next big update for Kinseed. There's one on the horizon and they've been putting out little things on Steam about it. So I thought I would look into those. Uh, Neditor... Editor. <laughs> Editor Knox here. Um, I wanted to say that I did not actually end up doing that. I have separated that information into a separate video, which you can see uh, was uploaded just before this one. Um, I also wanted to make a quick note that I have started a Patreon, so if that's something you're interested in, I have that linked in the description down below. Figured I'd uh, at least mention it once per series. <laughs> Come here. You little tease. Haha! -ha. I got a wood flapper. Flucked. Something I'm curious about is whether or not Summertide only happens the first year or does it happen every year? I still think we need to go do our offerings, so let's head out and do that. Well, maybe- yeah, I don't know. I don't want to have like any ire, but also time's gonna happen. <laughs> So like if we do do offerings, will they last until 
uh, we return or not sure how that'll work but I'd rather be safe than sorry all right let's go here and then this one sure and then the next pair sure we'll play an extra egg a day confirm perfect yeah I wonder if we could find Betty scrumpy oh sneaky the brothers there's Warzel first time ever he's been easy to find even their chickens look disgruntled seeing your mom around man your family's never all in one spot is it have you guys seen Betty no is she visiting blacksmith? No. Wait, are you Betty? You are! <laughs> Apparently I don't know what you look like. <laughs> you dropped one. Here you go. Thanks. Just what I was asking for. I'll be honest. I was scared. I am glad you didn't choose me. I think living near the graves of ancient religions has affected me. I hope I don't get cursed for saying that. You and I are getting on like a horse on fire. Oh, what's a horse? Well, they're an ancient pigs that were as big as a house and you could ride them as fast as the wind they were. Of course, I saw one when I was smoking ground up rainbow mushrooms. Ran right past me, it did. Flaming as it went. Made a noise like... <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's what horses make. I had to like lean around my mic to see the words. <laughs> What struck me as odd is that it is near impossible to grind up rainbow mushrooms. Uh-huh. Could you stick it to... Um... What's that called? To Northgate through Druidus Cross. I think you might have, and I think I almost tried to do it right there. That was a weird slip into a very old habit. <laughs> oh, bud. A window smacker. I love flies. <laughs> Actually, honestly, very much hate them. <laughs> uh, Hot-headed. They give me the creeps. Flies do. I was just going to see if our sibling is at Northgate, but I'm pretty sure you can't see Jesse after that. I got an insured admiral. Winky, what are you doing up there? Well, as I figured, did not find our sibling. Oh! Did I get a warning? I didn't feel like I got a warning. Ah, here we go. Nobody home. Uh, I was actually trying to turn off this when I went to sleep. Twig twog twiddle lee dee, the fair weather's waiting for thee. Oh, you must be uh, bursting with excitement. Not many get to meet a real proper fay. Now follow them, fairy lights, uh, and I'll dream hop myself to the crossroads, crossroads at Druidus Cross to the south and meet you there. Cheater, how pretty. Are you awake or are you asleep? Well, here's something you'll be wanting to keep a gift from Fairweather himself. It's a really special lantern called an Obscura, and it will let you see things that are normally hidden to those without true sight. Let's just pop that there lens, glass lens of yours in it. Exciting. But don't stop now. Keep following the fairies, and I'll see you at the southeast corner of Testy Acres. Ooh. Neat. It fit perfectly. I wonder where the missing lenses are. Anyways, take that there light and head to the southeast corner of Testy Acres. Let's go ahead and swap out our Obscura for the regular torch. And have it equipped. Oh. Interesting. It's very green. Having fun seeing if, like, this reveals anything. <laughs> I seem to have missed my fairy path. Too distracted by my torch. We're all just strands in a giant ball of twine, but your wishes will come true deep in the mine. I've got the key for you here. 
Just follow the fairies all the way to the first mine you come to and crumble chalk? I can't remember what it says there. Wow. Well, so many beautiful fairies. Oh, hello. Check our chub. In evening ponds, commit to brain. Check our chub twists again. Can I collect this? Oh, I can. Yeah. Ooh, a mushroom. No, I can't get that. Hey, Twig. Here you are, in the right place at the right time. No more listening to daft twig rhyme. Now go on and shine the obscura onto the big stones while you stand on the circle. Move the beam around until it opens a door. Mr. Feather Fairweather waits on the other side with gifts and treasures you can't imagine. But be careful what you wish for. Wow. That's new. Uh, a briar engagement. Talked to briar? This briar. I don't know if we need this. It's awful, uh, bright already. Hello, fair weather. Creepy as always. So pleased. I'm so pleased you could join me again. Now you have seen what the true shadows look like. You have seen what a farce the world of humans is, forcing a child to choose a sacrifice. What small-minded, pitiful creatures they are. But not you. With you begins a lineage that will accomplish wonders. A dynasty that will achieve complete mastery over all things. And all it takes is a seed. Hello, Kinseed. The Kinseed. Once it flowers, you will be bound to its magic, and though you may succumb to its irresistible call to the grave, your essence will live on as a guardian of your pro progeny, and each generation stronger than the last. Your, sp your spirit will be stronger than any quill has seen before. But first, you must agree to a contract. A mere formality, I assure you. I imagine it's not. By taking ownership of the Kinseed, you agree to the stipulations of this contract. The Kinseed will allow you to see and speak with all things Fey and grow your family tree. Your children will carry on your legacy, and as your tree grows, so does your power. Once planted, the contract begins. You may uproot the Kinseed and pass it to any of your children who are of age and join them in spirit, thus continuing to mentor your bloodline. So that's how you take over as the next character. Uh, in return for the Kinseed, you agree that on the day of your fifth birthday, you willingly give your body to Mr. Fairweather. Each Every heir who inherits the kinseed must do the same. If you have no heirs to pass the kinseed to, you will be offered an orphan to take your place. If you die before your time, Mr. Fairweather agrees to revive you at the cost of one year of your life. This contract is binding upon signing this paper. The initial cost of the kinseed is five years of your life, payable up front. Life tax is payable at the end of each human calendar year. Signed, Fairweather. Guess we accept. A wondrous magical seed. Splendid. Then our covenant is in place. Now you must plant the seed on the hill above the house that you call home. Its roots will be your roots, and it will flower many times, just as your flower family will. But that is not my only gift tonight. You are already experienced what drudgery and hard work life can bring, and these trinkets can ease your burden. You may choose one from now you may choose one of them now. Though you will be able to call upon me in the future if you wish to trade for more. In any case, I will pay you a visit as midnight strikes at the year's end to collect my modest fee for any services rendered. Till next time, my child. It's free. Uh, let's see. So the fairy paths. Feed your animals automatically. Or use a clock to the paths obviously can see tax years do accept oh we're an adult and our face looks different than I remember <laughs> continue we've only just begun Okay. It's our sibling. It's Jesse. Is that... Is that you? I don't believe it. I thought I'd never see you again. Where have you been? 
What do you mean, you don't know? You've been gone for five years. You left us, left me, without saying a word. We could have run away together, but you just disappeared. Just abandoned me. You're not making any sense. I tried looking for you at first, but Uncle Bill made sure I always came back. Didn't want to lose me too. Then he started getting sick and I had to stay and look after him. Somebody had to. You believed in us. All we wanted was to make you proud. Perhaps you will both find each other in the woods and run together. I will join you one day. Thank you for everything you did for us. May the waters take you well. Goddess bless you. After that, it was my turn to leave. There was no point sticking around. Only reason I came here today is because it's my birthday. Our birthday. And I thought... I don't know what I thought. I never wanted to see this place again. As far as I'm concerned, you can keep it. What's left of it. Oh, before I go, take this. It's a key to that door we always wanted to look behind. I just can't bear to open it. Maybe you should look inside yourself. I'll be in town for a while. Maybe see what's going on at the Festival Green these days. You know, if you want to say goodbye before I leave. Oh, and happy birthday. Alright. What a turn of events. Will Farm Willowdown Farm is yours now. Here's your family. Head to the pond west of your house. Plant the kinseed. You can also leave the veil as you wish, as you are now of age, so feel free to explore the world beyond. Better still, you won't fall asleep at 11 p.m. Spring is here. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. So it wasn't a full year, because it was the end of spring, or summer. Uh, let's see, annual events, year one, death. Ginger Nut was chosen as the Summertide Herald. Oh, Arthur and Teresa had a baby named Tina. And then nothing happened for three years after. <laughs> That is one rotten pear. It's been here for five years. Speak at pot at the farm exit. Wow, it is dumping. Alright, let's see what's in here. Alright. 50 gold. Uncle Bill's letter. If you're reading this, then you have returned and I have gone back into the cycle of nature. I pray to the goddess every day for your safe return. Your sibling looked after the farm well, but I could sense I was holding them back. Your strange friend Twig told me you would return, but could not tell me where you had gone. That gave me hope you'd come home. If you're reading this, then know that I'm very proud of you. I just have a feeling you will become an extraordinary person one day. I actually used to dream of you owning a business. Many, in fact. How I would love these dreams to be a reality. You would be a great success, I'm certain. Perhaps we will meet again one day, as I run around your garden or flutter past your window at night, looking for light. Uh, with love, William Stone. Interesting. So we get a name. Tin Ward. Hob, knob, and lob damage reduced. Uh, okay. Interesting room. I wonder how we'll be able to use it or if it'll just be here. Interesting. All right. Let's head out. We need to plant our kin seed. Oh, here's pot. Well met again, dreaming one. Name is Pont. Recall our fun. I asked you questions very deep long ago when you did sleep. Lost your kid, but don't think glum. A legacy is yet to come. The farm is yours, and I, your friend, will dust the hearth and beds to mend. What next for you, I would guess. Dreams of doors, so seek it, yes. Northgate be beckons. The world outside. Adventures many and pigs to ride. Another gift I give to you, pot by name and nature too. This will gather reputation, so off you go without hesitation. See the world and fill the jar, make friends near, do tasks afar. Sleek, slay many beasts, attack parry and block, own many shops and raise your stock. Seek the ones that lie below, who those who sleep from long ago. Then you can... Then you can a legend be. Go now and make history. The reputation earned. This is new. Earn reputation through various resources. Friends, selling monsters, tasks, winning events, owning a business, and getting positive customer energy. Running a shop is the most effective way to earn rep. It will allow you to unlock perks of your business via the ledger. These perks will help your good store, blacksmith, or apothecary become more successful and efficient. 
thus bringing in more reputation and money. To view your reputation and renown levels, select the progress progress screen icon at the bottom left of the main play screen or via K. It's also in the pause menu. Okay. Ah, little head thing. There's 81 NPCs and we've met 30 of them. Not creepy at all. All right, we uh, planted that. It's getting a good rain, so I don't need to water it. I used to think this is why you ran away, because of what happened here at Summertide Festival. Now it turns out it was Fey magic that took you, but it was still your decision, wasn't it? That's how it works with the Fey. You have to be the one who says yes. At first, I hated Uncle Bill for letting Aunt Rose die like this, but they both really believed in this stuff. Everybody does, so. I don't know. Maybe they're right. So yeah, it, I always kind of assumed Aunt Rose had been an offering, but I wasn't sure. What I'm trying to say is I hated you for a while too for leaving me, but maybe that's the way it was supposed to be. So I'm glad you're back and that you're all right, but I've got my own life now. Finally exploring the rest of the quill like I always wanted. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into each other one day. Goodbye. Gift. Do you... A gift for me. I'm pretty sure that he likes the candy squirrel, but it doesn't seem like it because it has a red circle, but I'm gonna go ahead and try. I feel like that said gave a disliked item, but it also seemed like it got more positive. You gave me that and on my birthday. So no, it was bad. I don't know, man. That's confusing. <laughs> oh, they hate squirrel, but like hair. Got it. Can I try again? Will you stay here? No. Dang it. All right. Well, that sucks. <laughs> it's a traveling trader. Apple pie. And coin tell use. Yeah, I'll grab that. And that. And I bought seeds. Ah. He can sell stuff out of season. Good to know. I wish it said in the description what season they were for. I'm so excited for this new update. It's been so long since we've had any kind of updates. So I hope you guys have le enjoyed looking into that and uh, in have enjoyed us becoming our adults. Um, it's uh, always a weird transition. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.